All right, let's flip some cardboard. I like being able to get card advantage, and I'm a sucker for removal. Another increase. Your soul shall be mine. Don't need that guy. He's too big. The other guys are good. It's a decent curve. If I had another two drop, I might even coin out my two two. Is someone injured? Ha! Uh, I don't do it now. Jeez. Guess I coin out my three four next turn. I guess you can have power word. Oh. So four one. Oh, it's a werewolf. Oh, discover a secret. Let's just put in play. Into his hand. It's gonna be get down, isn't it? The future Let's get down. I think the power's on. Oh. oh, I can live with that. Also have a really big defile. I think I should save that. It's just a defile combo. Dark one, snatch all. The future is all right. Let's think. Play that guy. Kill that gastropod. See if I get a lucky kill. I could hit for three to file everything and play him. Bound over this is a board player that I have to do. Cause even if I hit that, play him gastropod and just hit face with the dagger. If he trades into the gastropod, I play that next turn, kill his guy. Kill the revenant he gets. I think that's the best play I can get. Do it in the right order. Alright. Of course, if he has like a holy nova or something, I just fucking get blown up. But then use Oz man, I play that clear his guy if I take two. Don't shadow word me, bro. I guess I just play power. Four ones that defile comp is not worth it. Clears the board, but it's not really worth it. Shroom just gets annihilated if I throw it out. The future is now. He's also got four power, so now the shadow words work on him. I think it's like a so much removal. Ooh. I think this is a turn that I use that. Because 
destroys him. This guy comes back, destroys both of them. He's still got health, I can heal him up. Establishes my board. So play that, or do I heal? Your soul is mine. So, if he got drained soul from me, that's gonna be really annoying if I don't heal. My eyes are open. Job done. So he'd just be screwing with my removal. He's got siphon soul, then doesn't matter. Alright, I can siphon the Drake if I need to. Or. Fungal Mancer. Straight trade, deal 6 to face. Or Fungal Mancer. Hit. Hit. Have my creatures, and I'm still worried about. Still worried about Drain Soul. But that's too many he has to spend next turn. I think it's better than just siphon because I can play around it. I'll siphon for something I can't play against. Your soul is mine. Oh, I can draw. Should have done that first. Maybe kills that I get another one anyway. Now I've got a lot of damage on board. The icy winds of Ooh, those here ones are nice. Six, ten, thirteen. Thirteen damage. Siphon to destroy that. Don't want that thing on the board. Could do double chain gang and hope. Can also draw, reevaluate my options. I think I just siphon it. I'll play one of the legendaries at least, but probably. Taunt likes a death, but I don't. Oh. That's a pain in the butt. To destroy a random enemy minion. So I can bone mare. I have to bone mare one of these two so to trade. Possibilities. Might as well bone mare. I'll bone mare him and hit. Because if he destroys that guy, I just win the game by killing him. That's the only way that I win this turn. That I can think of myself. Kills one of those two and I win. Oh, he has lifesteal, so I'm an idiot. No, I don't win. Man, the important thing is I was trying to think. Oi. Another? Come on now. So draw. Let's see if I get. Do I have another siphon soul? I do. 14 cards, 7 in hand. Hmm. I should play my chain game first. I forgot about going too fast. Two creatures, so hopefully I can bone mare next turn if one of them dies. My eyes 
So, if I draw a siphon, do I win? I don't believe so. So I do four. Huh. I wonder. Do I just sack one, bone mare, hit? Or do I play... Do I build up for next turn? What? How many answers do I think he has? So many possibilities. I think I build for next turn and see if I can power through with one of my strong draws. And hope he doesn't mind control. Unleash me! The dark path is my death. I don't know if that's a smart play. Because he mind controls my guy. I missed lethal earlier. Missed lethal so hard earlier. Can you do nine? How do I do nine? That's the bone mare is eight. I wonder. Do I just draw and see what I can get? Do I go for the double dragon play? So many Hit possibilities. That. Hit that. I can kill that. Hit that for two. Hit that, because he plays six six at the care. Didn't play taunt, so he can't steal a taunt from me. Still got plenty of space to tap deck a siphon. Feeding time isn't bad, because it's removal at least. Oh, wait, that's annoying. If he doesn't play another taunt, I think I win though. No, I don't. I have to break through his shield. Siphon. Do you have a mind control now? Did you just draw that? Okay. Could trade in a dragon, but you'd have to heal still. That's ten that I can do to him. I need two more damage. Dragons, didn't I? No, 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 wrong button. I was looking for this one. I can dance 
on dragons, that'd be great. Um, do I bring down to two or do I just... Once I just gain board. So he just dies now. It is finished. You win. Ah, oh, I missed that potential lethal earlier. I know that. Gul'dan versus Mecha Jaraxxus. You face Mecha Jaraxxus. Your soul shall be mine. I like the removal of a man that's too top heavy. Maybe I'll draw two drop. My first two draws. There we go. Hello. Man, he's gold too. This stuff's all animating, man. Man, what you coining? I don't need any of you. Well, that sucks. For the crusade. <laughs> All right. I guess I can let him trade around my guys. Alright, so I think here, as long as I play him, that's gonna die. Two, trade those two, clear his board. Have a creature. So good. So now when I do this, I'll try to push that damage, is it worth it? If I tap, I can't do that and follow up with a creature. Possibilities. That's three. Your soul is mine. I do the protection play. See if we can play something big that I answer it. I should buy me a turn to my bone layer. As long as he doesn't get power, that's fine. Plays into the Kodo. What you got for one mana? And play him that opens me up to MC Tech, and I'm low on hands. He's got a lot more cards. Let me start tapping. Got a bone bear next turn. If something crazy happens, if not, play him and tap. Oh. Summoning portal open. <laughs> oh. I think I just bone mare. 
Let me see, 4-4. Four, four. That puts him on a taunt. I'm basically worried about getting Drain Sold. Let's do that, he's at 2. He'll be at 4 health, he'll be at 2 health, he can get Drain Sold. But otherwise he'll have Taunt, which isn't the best. Through it. Keeping the board clear anyway. Hopefully, he's not attacking me much. Do do do. do. Computing. Eight, eleven, sixteen damage. Draw. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I keep my guy alive. Plus, he's got double Hellfire. To five. Damn. Use double removal to do that. Now I can play. Atten. Job's done. Start building my board up. Two one Warrior. You were here last time I played. I don't think I siphon here. I give something spell power. Maybe him? Cause he's probably gonna die. Uh, him. If I draw, so I draw my other dreadlord. Everything changes. Close. All right. So I think I do four here. Smelly fish, yummy fish. Huh, that's a good one to get. shield that's nice so he summons them yeah all right so summon does do those effects freeze an enemy okay Ooh. so one of them still dies let's throw them both in you playing handlock Dreadlord. So I don't want to siphon that because I think I can still deal with the board. So three, four, kill that. The future is now. He's only got two cards, he just drew one. Oh, and I rolled a taunt. 
So he has to be digging for answers right now against the board flood. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got fifteen damage on board. So he has to start trading stuff in. He can take five of that away if I draw fungal and still kill him. He plays Defile or something. Okay. Does he take the Shroom? You gotta be taking the Mushroom, man. You know what you don't. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, four, thirteen. So if I draw fungal, I win. Find if there's a way to turn that off. I try to keep the curve and hope for a hope for two drop, I guess. Cause the curve is all right. Like the three, plan three, plan four, plan five. Job's done. Now if there's something too silly, I might be able to just drain it. Now I draw a card next turn. Assuming here powers, I'm in a decent state. So now I'm just gonna try to curve. Play that to be big, or play that for more trades. Probably just set up more trades. Ooh. Blessing of Kings or something. Is that four mana? Mm. That wouldn't be too good on that. That would hurt me a lot. Okay, just flame pass. If he wants to trade 1-1, one, one, that's fine. Hit him with 2-4. Play him with Dreadlord. It's just, does he give it attack? Does he buff it somehow? turn. Definitely changing here. I think I tap. Try to set up something with a life steal next turn. I could hit and life steal with them. Down a card. Actually, maybe. Yeah. He's got one more charge. One with the candle. Reporting for duty. 
That might be worth siphoning. Maybe not. What are my options? I can tap and play him. Hit that for one, clears the board. So that guy's so protecting my demon. Play that guy. But then I have to trade, trade. Lose two of my creatures. I like preserving my creatures. I got other taunts coming up too. Reporting for duty. The file clear support by Trevor. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting. He doesn't have a dragon, but draw a plate that to kill that. Hit that, kill those. Heal still trading my guy, but So many huge cards you can have, especially at 5 0. I want to save my siphon. Like, worse is he trades, plays a big creature, board clears something, and I can rebuild pretty good. Let me think. Reporting for duty. Do that, that, some on my next turn I'm set up to do more stuff. It's so siphon if things get out of hand. Ooh. This is really weak to a uh, was a holy nova or something. Two damage to all of my stuff. Consecrate. Really weak to a consecrate. How many cards does he have? Eight. He's got more than me and I've been tapping. Ooh. I wish that guy wasn't there. Um, so let me make him a 612. Does he have any dragons? I think mm -hmm. a Stegadon is 2 6 with Taunt, right? So tap 5 6 7 2 5 4. So I tap it, take away my chance to play Hoarding Dragon, what could I potentially get? Defile. Farseer.
Ooh. Dang. I'm trying to do one day to file, but I have to file so it's worth it. Mm. Kind of running low on removal. I could get a knife juggler. Kodo doesn't really help. something big. Let's give plus one plus one. Or... Yeah. At least that chest resets itself for me. I'm still at a healthy amount of life. So I'm gonna get to try to close this out. So we got another mm. siphon coming. He's got 15 cards, I got 12. I got hooked reaper, but not low enough to do much. Sacrifice is always good. If he played one of these dragons, that'd be the best. <laughs> that'd be good, because I can just clear it. Don't have another reaper that does one damage. There's a guy. Okay, I need to set something with Defile. Got one. Need to siphon him, I'm pretty sure. Should do that every time. Two. So many possibilities. He's not holding a dragon. No. Reporting for duty. You get a hat, and you get a hat. Oi. He's got fourteen. He's got seventeen. So he's got me dead on board. Don't have any taunt. So many possibilities. Don't really have way to. I'm gonna have to remove is that. Three, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five. So that gets me a four cost. So many possibilities. I can draw a reaver. Four, five, six, seven, ten. I won't have enough mana. Almost out of time. A stranger will offer you aid.
Which is three. Seven. Does that do enough? Seven and five. Two buffs. Huh. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Yeah, he had the reach. Give me some fireworks. Thank you for watching the second part in this arena run. We are five wins and one loss right now, which isn't perfect, but it's still very, very good. I'm very happy with how it's been going. So if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to hit like, subscribe, leave any comments down below. Especially if there's anything about what you liked or what you would like to see in the future. All that feedback and information is really helpful. And if you did not like what you saw, the dislike button's down there. And feel free to leave any of that good old constructive criticism in the comments just as well. I'll make sure to take a look at it. So we have the third part coming up next. Hopefully you will join me for that. Until then, I've been your dad. Thanks for stopping by, and I will see you shortly.